Hey guys, it's Dr. Deuce back again with another great set of music tech tips for you. Now today we'll be covering the quantize and nudge shortcuts. So let's get started. Now to demonstrate how these shortcuts can be used, I'll create a very simple two bar drum pattern, then apply the shortcuts to show you how they can be used in your production. I'll be using four very basic elements in this rhythm. First of all, the kick drum. Next, I'm going to put in some claps. Now a simple percussion hit. And finally, my hi-hats. That's my simple two bar drum rhythm. I'll now go ahead and fix the timing of each event. We're now looking at the piano roll display for the kick drum. And as you can see, none of these hits or events are landing on the division marker that we're aiming for. For example, this should be landing on bar one, this on bar 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, or down here, 2.3 they should be landing exactly on these lines. To fix this, all we need to do is click on the kick drum region, then press Q on the keyboard. And as you can see, all of these events have now automatically adjusted to the nearest 16th note division. And that is set over here where it says time quantize one over 16, that's the division to which these events will move. Now looking at the claps, we can see that these are slightly off the lines as well. Here we go, right here. Now we want to correct these also. So once again, make sure you've clicked on the region and press Q on the keyboard and that will adjust all of these events to the nearest 1 16th division. Moving to the percussion, okay. Once again, they're slightly off. Here's another way of doing this. We can apply the quantization function within the piano roll window also. The first thing you do is press Command A to select all, then press Q on the keyboard, and there we go. All of those notes have been adjusted to the nearest 1 16th division. The hi-hats as well, we're gonna do it here. Click in this window, Command A, select all, then Q, and they've all now been adjusted. Let's play that back and see how it sounds. So that's how you carry out quantization on a region within the piano roll. Okay, now I'd like to show you how to add some more feel and rhythm and groove to your production by using the nudge function. Now, looking at the clap region, we're looking at events which have now been quantized to the very nearest 1 16th division. Okay, what we want to do is move them slightly off, either a bit later or a bit earlier, to give a little bit of a push or delay to the rhythm. Now, first of all, I want to select all by pressing Command A. And we are now going to use the nudge function to move them slightly earlier. To use the nudge key command or shortcut, it's Alt, then press the left or right arrows. That's moving left, and this is moving right. Okay, let's undo that. Okay, now, what I want to do is move these events slightly earlier to the left so that they hit a little bit earlier in the production. So Alt, and left, probably about there. Let's have a listen. Probably a bit too much. Let's go to the right. There we go. Now let's do the same for the hi-hats. Once again, Command A to select all. And then I'm going to move them a little early also. So Alt and left. Thank you. 
I would spend quite a bit of time on this, making sure I get the rhythm just right, but I'm sure you get the idea. Now, in order to be able to use the nudge function, you need to be able to adjust or set the nudge value. You need to open the toolbar by pressing here or by using the key command, command alt control T. Now the nudge value at the moment is set in this production to 10 ticks. If we were to click here, we have a whole range of different values that you can choose from. For now, 10 ticks is okay for me. If you want to reduce the interval, you can go to ticks, or if you want to increase it, you can go to division, beat or bar. But 10 ticks works just fine for me. Now finally, you can use the nudge function to adjust the start position of a region in the main arrangement window. First of all, you select the region that you want to move, and then you decide on the nudge value. Let's say it was division. And now if I was to press Alt, and then right arrow, this will move the hi-hat region by division. However, if I was to change this to beat, let's see what happens then. Alt, right arrow, there we go. Moving back to start. And if I was to use tick, for example, this will make some very, very small incremental moves. Now we'll need to zoom in for this. Okay, let's move this all the way to the beginning right arrow there we go now those adjustments are very very minute and are quite useful especially when working with vocals trying to sync vocal parts up or other audio events such as drums or bass or whatever you're recording it's a great tool for adjusting the start position and getting things in time once again i hope this tutorial has been of benefit to you this is dr deuce you take care and i look forward to seeing you Real soon. Peace.